In this video, I will show you how to manipulate lighting and shadows in Ibis Paint X. Make sure to watch until the end and leave a like and comment to show your support. So, here we are in Ibis Paint X. Let's start by adjusting the brightness and contrast. I set the brightness to negative 100 and the contrast to plus 8. Now we need to create a light source. For that, I created a new layer below our subject change its blending mode to add and use the airbrush to paint light from the top like this we can see that it's not looking smooth so let's fix that by adding a lens blur filter and that looks perfect since our only light source is coming from the top we need to adjust the lighting and shadows on our subject accordingly let's create a new layer clip it to our subject and change its blending mode to soft light. I'm going to paint this area of his chest because the bottom area is going to block the light. Using the smudge brush, I'll smudge the edges so it smoothly fades in. Next, I'm going to cut out the head because I had a crazy idea to create shadows this way. I made a few perspective changes, changed its blending mode to soft light, applied a motion blur filter, and we're good. Now I'm adding a bit more shadow using the airbrush. Next, we need to paint shadows on his face, and we're going to use the same method. Since the light is coming from the top, these areas will block the light, making them darker. I'm smudging the edges like this so they blend in smoothly. Always adjust the opacity to make it look natural. Here's a tip. If you want it to look more realistic, Take the darkest shade from the face and paint over it like this. Now we need to paint the highlights. For the face, I'm going to use the overlay or soft light blend mode. Watch the full video to see how you should paint the highlights.
to give it a glow effect, I'm going to use the bezier curve and add this glow to the shoulder 